Hello guys, how are we doing? So just a few things before we dive into this trick. You've probably seen I haven't uploaded for a couple of days. Don't worry, I haven't gotten, gone anywhere. There's just a few things I need to let you know, uh, just so you don't panic thinking I've stopped doing videos for YouTube. So there's only going to be two days I'm going to be uploading. Every Thursday and every Sunday. The only reason behind that is, is because my schedule is ridiculous and they're the only two days I can upload videos. So I am going to try and get in front, but at the moment it's only going to be Thursdays and Sundays, okay? So please don't be mad. I was going to do it once a week, but Debbie pushed me to two. So I'm going to be doing two videos a week. So every Thursday, every Sunday, hopefully you guys won't mind. Anywho, let's get back on with the trick. So this effect, you guys might have already seen this. I've uploaded it before and I've had a lot of comments on this trick saying it didn't work or if you choose this number, it didn't work. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to reshoot it and I'm going to do the tutorial again. And trust me, guys, this is a fooler. When I did this first time on YouTube, it, it, it probably fried most magicians. So all that being said, let me show you the trick. So here is the effect guys and straight away as soon as you see me perform this you'll know exactly which to come on about if you subscribe to the channel because it got a lot of comments so this is the performance so yes it uses a normal pack of cards and these are brand new so the cards might go flying about uh, and if they do I do apologize okay so the cards can be cut by the spectator if they wish and what's going to happen is you're going to ask your spectator to cut the card in half which they will. Then you tell them to give the left packet a cut any way they wish. So let's say they cut here. Same with the right. Very, very fair. And you tell them to turn the card of each one. If this is another two. Oh, if that was another two, that would have been a great trick. So like you can see, we have a two, two, three, and a five. Honestly, if that was a two, 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 I would have stopped the video and I would have quit. <laughs> but this is crazy because these four cards are like indicator cards. Magicians don't like using that indicator word, but they are in this example, because if we count two, so that is one, this is two. And again, this is one, this is two. This is three, okay? So one, two, this is three. And over here is five. This is one, two, three, four, five. If you think about this, the cards have been mixed up. The spectator cuts anywhere they wish, okay? Obviously, I had to do it for now, but the spectator can truly cut anywhere. And he landed on the, what was it? It was a two, it was a two, it was a three, and a five. If these were different numbers, we would have counted down further. But these indicator cards should have found the one, the two, the three, the four, Aces. It is so, so cool. This effect is an Edmardo effect. I like I said, I've taught this on the channel already, but there was quite a few comments. People couldn't do it. So I'm here now to go through it again. And if you still can't do it, you're going to go face on FaceTime with me and we're going to go through it together. So all that being said, if you don't know how it works, grab your pack of cards and let's get learning. Okay, guys, so here is the setup for the effect. Yes, don't get angry. There is a setup. So let's start off. So what's going to happen is you're going to remove ace to king. It can be in any suit. Okay, so I know I've got quite a few reds there. Ignore that. It really doesn't matter. So all you're going to do is just get ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king with all the cards. Okay ace to king and the suits can be mixed up it doesn't matter about the suits but just remember you want the aces at the face okay so if you do it like this and i've explained this quite a few times on some of my other tricks if the king's at the face it's not going to work so just make sure you have ace to king with the ace at the face and these can be in any any suits it doesn't matter okay just ace to king in any suit, so you've got ace to king, ace to king, ace to king, ace to king. 
when you've got that just put them on top of each other okay just like so and that is the setup so here is a tutorial guide so as well when you spread the cards like so it looks like a shuffled deck if you're a magician obviously i've just showed you the setup they may see it goes ace to king ace to king but just looking at it like that it, it does look like a shuffled deck if you do know any false deck cuts please use them it makes the trick stronger i think you don't have to i didn't in this performance in the last performance i did a rebellious shuffle uh i'll show you what it looks like i'm not going to teach you it now but it looks something like this i don't know what that looked like on camera because if you're at the wrong angle it should obviously look like uh from the front view but just give the card a full uh deck shuffle if you wish okay and that will just make sure all the cards are in the exact same order okay just like so and obviously there's an ace here which i shouldn't have put there that should go right there don't know why that was there but anyway so don't forget you've got your ace to king ace to king ace to king ace to king and if you want to give it a false deck shuffle please do if you don't then you don't have to i didn't do that in the performance you just saw so what you saw is the card was cut the cards can be cut okay so the cards can be cut because it's not shuffling the deck it's just basically just putting it's just cutting them really so you can do this then you're going to turn the cards over and the spectator can cut the cards but what you're looking for okay is a six seven or eight at the face okay so i'm going to cut six seven or eight is not there yet i give it a few chances okay if i miss it it doesn't matter because the spectator doesn't know what's about to happen okay so i say look give them a few cuts and they have done it okay brilliant so i didn't cut to a six seven or eight so what i do now is i just spread till i see a six seven or an eight it doesn't matter which card i use so let's say i want the seven it doesn't matter which seven either. It doesn't have to be the seven of diamonds. It could have been the seven of clubs. It's just the first six, seven or eight I can see. I use a six for example. And I will cut that to the face. It can be the six, seven or eight. Then these cards turn face down. And it's going to work on its own now. Okay. So you instruct the spectator to cut the cards in half. Roughly in half. Okay now you tell them to cut this packet in half as well which they will and same with the right it's automatically going to work so they will turn the cards over okay and i had a comment on the last video when i explained this is if this was like a king but there was only four cards here how you, you can't really do it which is true you can't but it's all about how they cut as long as they cut how you explain to them so cut them in half cut them in half and they're about the about the same okay so all these cards are about the same you will be able to do the trick hopefully that makes sense so for example right now the two okay so we always class this the, the, when you turn the top card over that's going to be classed as one this one's going to be classed as two which is going to be an ace okay so and i don't deal them down okay i deal i just peel off one and i take the second card which is going to be an ace i do the same for this one these cards are going to be completely different to your cards so this is a four so i go one this is one this is two three the fourth one is going to be an ace. These go back on. The three, I go one, two, three. And same with the five. I can pick the cards up. That's one, two, three, four, five. And it's done. The card, these are the aces, okay? It, it works automatically. You might think, Brandon, I've just tried it and it didn't work. If it didn't work, then, by the way, you do need a full deck. I did not explain that to you. You do need a full deck of cards, obviously. Remove the jokers, but it needs to be a full deck. So as long as you've got a full deck of cards, it will work. But if, for example, you do this and you've only got, like I said, 
that amount of cards and, they, and it's a jack here for example or 10 you haven't got 10 cards obviously it's not going to work because how they've caught so just make sure you say to your spectator look what i want you to do is cut them roughly about in half which they will but it's a free random cut as well and you're not touching the cards and you've cut to the ace. okay so that is the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed it yes a very easy trick and if you followed it step by step it will work for you guarantee if it still doesn't work comment down below and i will i don't know i will i will facetime you and we'll go through it together that's what i will do if you can't get this working i will honestly i will e email me you got me email now guys email me and i will go through it one by well, face to face on camera and we'll do it together and that is a promise and as well don't forget I'm not going to be uploading every single day. It's only going to be the Thursdays and the Sundays. Hopefully you guys don't mind. It's just like I said, my schedule at the moment is so, so busy. But I'm still going to upload for you. Anyway, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.